Hey guys, welcome back to Ancestral Healing. Today is going to be a video all about the types of foods that you should eat for a strong immune system. So back in the day before I discovered this animal-based way of eating, I was a pill-popping animal. Every time I would feel a slight headache, uh, stuffy nose, itchy throat, fever, I would resort to the pharmaceuticals. I would take NyQuil, DayQuil, Tylenol, um, ibuprofen, all of the things. I have not taken a single medication in three years and I'm very happy about that because I have gained the power and the knowledge to heal myself with food. Food is truly medicine. So I'm basically going to share with you guys the top um, immune boosting foods to maintain a strong immune system. But also these are great foods to reach out for the second that you start feeling like you're coming on with a cold or a flu, any of those symptoms. As long as you have a couple of these foods in your freezer ready to go, you will be fine. And true healing will begin the second that this food enters your mouth. So my number one go-to food for a strong immune system is bone broth. Whether it's uh, beef bone broth or chicken broth, those two should always be ready to go. I always have chicken feet in my freezer or beef bones in my freezer. And as soon as I get sick or if I see that Danny's getting sick, I pop those bad boys in the pressure cooker or I slow cook them. Depends which method you want to do. Doesn't matter. The end result should be a gold elixir of bone broth. And that's what you should be sipping on throughout the time that you're sick. And I also crack in egg yolks in my bone broth. Also, I find that when I'm sick, and this goes for Danny as well, when we're sick, we don't really have an appetite. I'm not really craving a massive steak. So broth is something that I can just easily warm up and just sip on it throughout the day, even from a, a mug. Like I don't even put it in a bowl. I just kind of sip on it. And it's easy that way when you don't have such an appetite, get those nutrients in through a soup. Food number two for a robust immune system, organ meats. The animal stores its nutrients in the organ meats. So those foods like liver, uh, tongue, heart, kidney, those foods are the most nutrient dense foods of the animal. So you definitely want to be eating those. If you can't really tolerate organ meats, Trust me, there are ways to cook them that make them more tolerable. You don't really taste that organ taste. There's ways to do it. What, you, what I do sometimes is I will cook some liver and throw it in the bone broth and just kind of grind it up in there, make it really small, and it's just like a meaty soup. So delicious. Organ meats have all of the vitamins. They got the B vitamins, vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E, vitamin K2. Uh, vitamin C, lots of collagen, COQ10. Um, beef heart is actually the, the number one meat that contains the most COQ10, which we need. Uh, zinc, iron, selenium, all the good stuff. So yeah, organ meats when you're feeling sick or if you're trying to prevent yourself from getting sick. When I'm feeling a little under the weather, Butter is my top three. I always try to have raw butter in my fridge and I'll throw that raw butter in my, in my soup, my broth. I will cook with raw butter. And yes, I will even eat raw butter on its own. And a little weird thing, I don't know if I've ever shared, but at one point within these last two years, I had a little bit too much fruit and my wisdom tooth started hurting me. And I don't, I didn't have my wisdom teeth pulled out. So they're just, they're coming in. They're, they're pretty much there. But the fruit irritated that area. Maybe I got some kind of cavity in there. I don't know. I don't see anything. And I don't go to the dentist. I do my own cleanings. Um, but I read in Weston A. Price's book that butter is good for dental hygiene. So I grabbed a piece of raw butter and I put it back there. 
and I would just kind of chew on it. And I kid you not, the pain was gone. So raw butter is extremely, extremely powerful. It's got vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin K2. This vitamin K2 keeps popping up. It's very important. It's got um, omega-3s, all the good stuff. You want it when you're sick. You want to be cooking your, your foods in butter. So food number four for a strong immune system is oysters. Oysters contain zinc and copper, and they contain a beautiful equal amount of both ready for our body to absorb because zinc is actually the food that contains the most bioavailable zinc out of all the foods. Oysters are the one. And zinc is actually critical for a healthy immune system. I don't have access to fresh oysters all the time. So what I did to supplement that is I bought um, oyster supplements. I have them right here. I've, I've spoken about them before. They are Oyster Max um, by this brand in Ireland called Marine Health. And it's simply just oyster. Um, they're in vegetarian capsules. I don't take, I don't swallow the capsules. I just take the oyster powder out. They look like that um, these are amazing I buy them all the time but I don't run through them often because I don't take them regularly I save these like they are medicine so that's this is my new natural medicine cabinet if I'm feeling under the weather or I got a little scratchy feeling in my throat like that feeling that you get before a cold comes on or sometimes before you get a cold you get this like sinusy pressure i go into the fridge and i take i hear it says take four capsules daily but i take if if i'm trying to prevent myself from getting sick i take anywhere between seven to 14 capsules and literally wake up feeling 100 percent the next day i'm not even joking uh so i use these as medicine i highly recommend um replacing your you know pharmaceuticals with natural stuff i have a code for these it's in the description below they're by a brand um called marine health and i have a code for 10 percent off it's petra 10 so feel free to check those out um but zinc is only one of the benefits of oysters oysters also contain selenium potassium vitamin d the B vitamins, omega-3s, iron, and of course, as I mentioned, copper. Another important factor to consider when you're trying to build a healthy immune system and to maintain that immune system is your magnesium levels. Magnesium is available in many forms, but I find that the best way to absorb magnesium is through the skin. You apply the magnesium on your skin. I usually apply it on my legs. I have a spray that I use. Magnesium regulates over 300 biochemical reactions in the body. That's more than any other mineral. Of course, we can get magnesium from our food, but I don't think that we get nearly enough. And this is when I believe that it's important to kind of supplement. I don't use the magnesium spray often. I save these things from when I'm a little bit under the weather. I try to read my body and just do what I can naturally. We actually have a widespread magnesium deficiency because all of our magnesium magnesium resources are being depleted. So from our food, from our soil, it's all being depleted. Every cell in our body needs magnesium in some way. So I figure if you're feeling under the weather, applying a little bit of magnesium to absorb into your skin can help with sleep. It can also help with body aches, muscle soreness, and of course, most importantly, if you're feeling sick, magnesium may help promote signaling and communication between immune cells so that your body can defend itself from any invaders as quickly as possible so that you can heal. The sixth food for a strong immune system is cod liver oil. So I used to actually eat cod liver, but I don't have access to it anymore. So I said, how can I replace it? So I found this brand. It's by... Rosita, it is one of the best brands uh, out there. I would be very careful what brand of cod liver oil you are buying. There can be a lot of, you know, fishiness in that market. 
many of the cod liver oils on the market are rancid. Um, if you're going to purchase one, Rosita is a good brand, but you can also check out westinaprice.org for other suggestions. Cod liver oil is extremely high in vitamin A and vitamin D. It has the right balance of both vitamins. One of the most important roles of vitamin A is to support the immune system. When we get sick, our body uses up our vitamin A storage. When you lack vitamin A, the first line of defense in your immune system becomes compromised. So this is where a good cod liver oil in your medicine cabinet comes in handy. I got this quite a while ago and I've only used about this much. When I feel like I'm getting sick, I just take a teaspoon or two daily and I'm telling you it helps. I have never been sick for more than two days. Like I heal myself so quickly as long as I catch it right on time and the medicine is the food always. Another favorite of mine when I'm getting sick is egg yolks. I usually just make um, my morning omelet just with yolks, a little bit of bacon. Egg yolks are full of vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E, vitamin K2, all the good stuff, all those things. They are high in cholesterol, but what did we learn from my cholesterol video that we are not to fear cholesterol? And that's about it. I mean, if you're sticking to an animal-based diet, you are most likely going to heal yourself. But these um, foods that I just mentioned, they're very, very nutrient-dense. And I really encourage you to replace your cabinet with things that are more natural. Um, one thing that I'm waiting on in the mail is raw colostrum powder. So I've never tried it. I don't really... Um, eat dairy too often but i'm adding this to my medicine cabinet so raw colostrum is the fluid produced by mammals as the first source of nutrition for their young this is one of the top foods for immune and gut health and um, preferably if you can get it from animals that are grass-fed grass finished that would be better i ordered some colostrum powder so i'm go going to save that for when I get sick and just put the powder in some water and just chug that down as I would um, as I would with the teas back in the day that are packaged and I, I can't understand them, uh, can't understand the ingredients. So yeah, this video, I'm just basically trying to encourage you guys to heal yourselves, not to resort to, you know, all of the medications that are out there at the pharmacy. I know that they provide immediate and quick relief but it's truly so empowering and so amazing when you can heal yourself with what's in your kitchen. And I also believe that sometimes when we're sick, this is where plant medicine can come into play. I am not too knowledgeable about that, but one thing that I will um, do for myself when I'm sick or when Danny's sick is I make tea with ginger. And you know, I don't have a negative reaction to the ginger. It helps, it calms me down, it helps my throat, my sinus. So in that way, I believe that plants can be beneficial when they're used for medicinal purposes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'm wishing you a wonderful, awesome week ahead. Thanks so much for all your support. I look forward to my video for you guys on Friday. Check out these two videos if you haven't seen them already. Take care.